So um, I, I spent most of the day, I was in San Diego yesterday, so I spent most of the day flushing most of the alcohol out of my body because the turn up last night was so real. Uh, so I, I, this morning I was standing in line at, in Starbucks buying this expensive stupid coffee and this woman, she kept staring at me. She had this stupid grin on her stupid face and, and then I knew what she wanted, like I knew exactly what was gonna happen next. She maneuvered that stupid hole at the bottom of her head to ask me, can I touch your hair? Oh. Now keep in mind, she was already touching my motherfucking hair while she was asking me if she could touch my hair, right? And I'm not gonna say what race she was, because race has nothing to do with home. She was like, then she said, oh my goodness, it doesn't feel dry at all. So I was like, no, my hair isn't dry or unkept, and contrary to your belief, it smells amazing. Now I'm black. Us black folk have hair of wool, skin of bronze, eyes like fire of flame. These brass feet will spark and kick you in the chest if you ever touch my godliness without my permission. There are reasons you can't touch my hair because I'm not a pet or a specimen at a zoo. Being as hot as I'm talking to tell you more no. And it was an invitation to your curiosity. Your hands are dirty. Don't touch you with your backhand of compliments. My history begins in my roots. I let my culture drink my crown when the tips of my lineage rest on my shoulders. There are strands of stories scripted at the top of my back and no, you can't manhandle my mother's narrative. I'm protective of my temple. That's why I keep my birthright. I got tired of people stealing my culture. So I locked my hair so you can't get inside of it. You can't touch my hair. I'm still cleaning your ancestors' fingerprints off of it. This is not just my hair. This is our heritage, a representation of who we are. We are black, we are adaptable. We were designed with thick skin to safeguard our hearts and sharp tongues to cut your throat. Don't touch my hair unless you know each strand by its name. See, this is Harriet, this is Henrietta, this is Asada, this is Marley, this is Kendrick, this is Cole, this is Blue Ivy, this is Ghana, this is Nigeria, this is my sister, this is my auntie, this is my cousin, all of it is Africa. There's a crescent continent from your spine to the top of your scalp, so wear your hair like a sycamore Big, waving from the banks of a middle passage. Don't forget where you came from, and don't forget where you going, and don't forget the women. Don't forget the women who twist, who cut, who print, who weave. The women who sleep uncomfy, like, and, and stay in the same spot for hours just to get their head right for nobody else but themselves and their family. And myself and my family is not your goddamn sideshow or to be fondled in the middle of Starbucks while I'm hung the fuck over. So no, Quilla the Bill, you cannot touch me by hand with your booty ass. Oh, thank y'all. I need to do a job, I need to get me on Instagram.